Hey guys, it's Warren here, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can easily make a wine rack out of a pallet in less than a day. It has loads of great little features, plus it makes a brilliant centerpiece to hang on the wall in your home. Firstly, take your pallet, then lay it flat on the ground. Now, measure how tall you want your wine rack to be, making sure there's enough room for a wine bottle to be removed. Mark this measurement on the three main planks going down your pallet, which you'll need to cut through in order to separate the pallet into two. Then you should be left with the main structure of your wine rack. Also be sure to retain the other half of the pallet for wood we'll need later. So, the first job is to make the shelves for our bottles to go in. Measure the area within where the bottles will be standing, then cut a plank of wood from the other piece of pallet measured to this size. Check it fits and this will be used as a shelf for the wine rack so your bottles don't fall through. Do this on both sides, then lay your wine rack down. Measure the width of the piece of wood we used for the shelf, in this case 2 cm, then divide it by 2. Mark this measurement, 1 cm in this case, on the front of the wine rack so we can screw the shelf into place. Do this by making preliminary drill holes, then using a countersink so your screws sit flush in the wood, then screw into place. These shelves will be carrying quite a bit of weight, so do this in several locations, both on the front for each shelf and on the back as well. With the shelves securely fastened into place, we're now going to make three supports running up the wine rack. Now, measure the length of the three main remaining planks running up the wine rack, bearing in mind this is a pallet so they may all vary slightly from each other, then cut these measurements from planks from your scrap pallet wood. Put them into place and check they fit and make any minor adjustments if necessary. We then need to fix them securely into place using dowels to start with. Start by marking the centre point at the end of your support planks, then mark where this measurement would sit on the wine rack where the supports need to go. Now, using a drill bit that has the same diameter as your dowels, drill downwards on the mark you've made on the wine rack to the depth of about half of the dowel. Gently push one in, then using the same drill bit, drill on the mark you made on the support plank downwards to just over half the depth of a dowel. Then put your support into place and gently hammer it down. Do this for all three supports that run the length of your wine rack. So, the supports are fixed into place at the bottom, but we now need to fix them into place at the top using screws from the back. Ensure the supports are standing up straight, then find their middle point on the back of the pallet. Essentially, we want to screw them into place from the back and not miss. Again, do this by making preliminary drill holes, then screw into place for all three supports. Great, so with the supports in place, we now need to make a shelf for the top. Unfortunately, I don't have a length of wood remaining that's long enough for the shelf. So, I'm going to be attaching three pieces of wood together, cut to size, attach them using dowels, and then screw to the wine rack. And remember to use a countersink when attaching your shelf here, so the screws sit flush and you can place things easily on the shelf. Now, depending on the width of the planks of wood you've used, you may find the support stick out from the shelf you've just attached. If you want to remedy this, you can do so easily by cutting down the supports flush with the top shelf and part way, then turning this into a curve. Cut down the support until where your straight line ends, then use a coping saw to cut round the curve. Don't worry if it looks a bit rough and ready, we can fix this when sanding the wine rack down. Okay, it's really starting to take shape and my lawn is really starting to take a battering. And the next and final thing I want to do is add a glass holder to the bottom of my wine rack. So, using a scrap piece of pallet wood to the length you'd like your holder, mark where you'd want your wine glasses to hang. Make sure there's enough room at either end of the plank for supports, then measure a centre line going down the length of the plank. And on this centre line, for each circle you've drawn around the glasses, mark a centre point. Then, using a drill bit that's thicker than the stems of your wine glasses, drill on each centre point along the plank. Now, draw a line from the edge of the plank to each edge of each hole you've drilled on the wood. Then, using a saw, saw along each line until you reach the holes. And when the wood falls through, you should be left with some slots for your wine glasses to hang from. And remember to do one final check to make sure the glasses fit in. 
make any minor adjustments if necessary, then using some more scrap pallet wood, cut out some supports to attach the glass holder to the bottom of the wine rack. Start by firstly screwing the supports to the wine rack using a countersink, then screw the glass holder to the supports. Again, be sure to make preliminary drill holes beforehand to make a nice neat job of it. And finally, I'm going to drill holes through the wine rack so it can be attached to a wall. And don't be shy with the holes because it's going to be quite heavy when fully loaded, so the more the merrier. And that's the structure of the wine rack finished. And now show your palette some love and give it a sand all the way around and this will really finish it off nicely. And if you wish you can also stain it and here I'm using an oak varnish. Leave it to dry thoroughly and ensure the wine rack is structurally sound for its purpose and secure further where necessary, then it's ready to hang on the wall. So on a strong wall, mark the places you need to drill your holes to hang your wine rack on the wall, making sure it's level. Then carefully drill your holes to a depth of the same length as your raw plugs, also using a drill bit of suitable thickness so the raw plugs fit in. Hammer it in at the end if necessary, then repeat for the number of holes you drilled on the wine rack. And then simply position it in place in line with the raw plugs, then secure with screws. And it's really important to use screws and raw plugs that are heavy duty enough to support the weight of the wine rack when it's fully loaded. And when you're happy with the finish, it's time to start loading it up with glasses and your favourite booze. And there you have it, that's how easy it is to make your own wine rack in under a day from a pallet. Now if you loved the look of this DIY project, remember to give this video a thumbs up. Remember also to subscribe and hit the bell button and that will notify you when I upload a new video. And you can check out more of my DIY projects and other videos by clicking on one of these appearing on screen.